Hi class, today we are going to take a look at compositing simple pieces and parts to faces that we did in class. And I'm just going to review sort of what we did. Um, we can, of course, you can do anything that you want. Uh, we talked about it sort of being a self-portrait. Um, of course, we're not going for realism, but we're just having fun. But do feel free to composite anything you want. You're just sort of getting the hang of how to composite. And so I'm going to just sort of go through what we did in class. We looked for a melon of some kind, and um, I think what I'll do is, I'm just thinking out loud, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a balloon. Let's do the head of, will be a balloon. So I'm going to find a fun balloon, and maybe we want to do one of these, like this orange one looks great. So of course I'm going to get that, and control click on the package to, picture to copy it. Also you can right click on a PC and kind of move that, come down and grab Photoshop. We're going to create a new file. Now of course when you do this always be thinking about size. I'm going to change my resolution if I were to print this right away to 300. And remember 3 into 1600 is around 5. So this is about a 5-ish by 5-ish piece. We'll call this Face composite and click OK. And then what we're going to do is just paste the image in there. So there's the face. Now what we're going to do is go get eyes. And of course we can cook up any kind of eyes we want. So I'm going to go back online and I'm thinking out loud. I really like the lemons. We we had lemon slices in class. So I'm going to go lemon slices and let's go ahead and grab a lemon slice and of course I'm thinking about size so if I think about how big the head of this is it's probably around five ish inches and these are about one inch which seems about right so you're always doing the math this is 400 by 400 so I'm going to grab that and again control click to copy it and I just need one because I can duplicate the layer and edit paste and we'll then kind of select that out here in a bit but that'll be one eye and then once we get that cleaned up we'll make that another eye so then I'm going to come back in and get the mouth and I'm just thinking out loud what would be kind of fun to do with the mouth we think here we're doing it live and I think I'm gonna stick with licorice because I can't think of anything more creative than that wonderful idea someone had in class of licorice for the mouth and some of you were so creative we did this one so I'm gonna grab that again it's very big too so that's okay we can shrink it down again control click on the picture to copy or right click on a PC and paste that in and that'll be our mouth. So you can keep going but just keep in mind that as we're doing this every time you paste something in your layer panel it's showing up in a separate layer and all of your panels are always located in your window menu. menu. This is the happy home. There's your layers and so what I'm going to do is individually start to work these out and what I'm going to do is just start with the licorice so I take all the rest of the layers off what I want to do is delete that white out well the magic wand is what we were talking about and the magic wand is great because it selects by color and value based on the tolerance you have up in your um, options bar and this is your options bar this whole strip that's related to that tool and white is just white. I mean, there's no value to it. It's just one color. So really, if you just click on it, you're going to select it. And then what we're going to do is you can use it, either use your delete key or just cut it out of there. And then you've got that separated out. This checkerboard represents transparency. So these are now transparent. Now, I don't want all of them for this exercise. So another really good selection tool, remembering that selections isolate parts of an image is your polygonal lasso tool and I'm gonna come in and just click this allows you to click 
straight edge selections and I can kind of slither in between that licorice and I'm just going to select all this and cut it out. So I'm isolating the area I want and then I'm going to edit, cut, or press delete. Command X. Now I just have one piece of licorice that I'll use for the smiley face. There we go. I turn the eyeball back on the balloon and then we'll go ahead and uh, play with Puppet Warp on that and that's something we did. Puppet Warp is fairly new, it's under the edit menu and what it does is it lets you click little bolts down and manipulate the shape. It's really exciting. I don't like looking at the mesh. This is your show mesh. I'm going to turn that off so you can see the object and you can use it or not. I'm going to click and then click and then the next time I click I'm going to sort of bend this and click this side and kind of contort it in something like that and then when you're happy with it press return there we go so now we've got kind of a bent piece of licorice for the smile now click on the lemon slice and we're gonna fix this up same thing get your magic wand the second tool on the right and just we're going to click on the white. Make sure though you have contiguous checked because that means only the connected white and we want the outer perimeter of white not the inside. So make sure that's on. Click and then uh, edit cut. Great. Now we are going to duplicate that layer. You can either do that by dragging the layer down to the upturned page or you can go into your layer menu to duplicate. Either one will work. The shortcut for duplicating a layer is Command J, and I'll just call this Lemon Eye. That will automatically uh, title the layer. Click OK, and now we have two. And with the Move tool, I'm just going to move that one over. Aw, so cute. Now, that's the general idea of what we did with the composites. Um, I could get one more shape for the nose, and I'm kind of in the mood to quickly do that and I'll do a cherry. You can do anything you want. It's kind of fun. But I want to do a nose and um, I'm into that one. That looks great. Click on that. Oops. Sometimes you get these weird sights that take you into Never Never Land. But sometimes they work and you can just again Control click, click on the image and copy it. Sometimes you can still use them. And click in here and Command V or Control V works. Now this is just a huge image, so don't stress out. That'll happen. And um, when that happens, I zoom out of the image with the zoom tool so that I can see the whole thing and pull your corner piece out and edit, transform, you can then see the outer perimeter and I do that always hold down your shift key from your corner that looks pretty good and press return again back to the magic wand we're gonna click on the white and you can see other layers are on now but just remember the only layer you're working on is the cherry layer and delete and then to deselect is the under the select menu or command D. That's a good one to memorize, command D, because we use it a lot. And didn't really get all of it. If that happens, you can reselect it. And um, the, you have tools like this uh, modify and contract in that will contract in. You can keep doing that. Or you also have expand. I actually think you want to expand into it and delete. Nonetheless, that's the idea and we could keep going. You could kind of do something cute with that, but I sort of like it up higher. And like with Edit Transform, you could play with Distort and pull this out, things like that. So that's the general idea of what we did Hope you have a lot of fun doing that and you're using your basic selection tools to composite something and we're getting into layers now. 
um, have fun with that and have fun with history. And uh, we'll see you on Saturday and we can work for a little while and then uh, look at your work. So take it easy.